Hey guys, welcome to Down and Dirty Modding. We got just a little quick tip here. Uh, right now we're working on our Cooler Master uh, World Series builds, a couple of uh, Master Case Maker 5s, Master Case 5 makers. I don't know. Um, I'm doing a couple of Dark Tower builds for it. And I need some brackets for my SSDs uh, because I don't want to have to pull everything off the other side of their mounting to get to the mounting screws for them. Um, so I'm going to be using some uh, aluminum to make some mounting brackets where I can screw them in from the sides. Uh, what I've got here, obviously, I mean, you can see it wrote, uh, is 0.05. I wonder if that's actually backwards to you all. Could be. Uh, it's 0.05 inch aluminum, or it's one millimeter. Uh, it's about the same. Um, and this is 5052 alloy. Uh, that's very important. Um, we are going to be bending this stuff, and 5052 uh, bends very easily, uh, whereas your more common 6061 alloys are really hard and uh, good for, for structural and for working with them, except when it comes to bending, uh, you start bending that stuff and it'll start cracking and breaking. So uh, you want to make sure that if you're ever doing bending with aluminum, you're using a good bending alloy. And like I say, pretty much 5052 is the one that I know of. Uh, I think a few others bend well. Uh, this one has worked perfectly for me and everything I've done. So. Um, we've already got it sized out, measured out, cut out, drilled out, uh, because we're going to be bending these really, really tiny, small tabs that are going to have the holes in them. And I didn't want to have to drill it later. Um, so what we've got to do now is we're going to take and use our six inch vise and a ball peen hammer and bend these things into shape because sometimes a metal break just doesn't do what you need. So, and this is a good take, uh, tip if, um, uh, if you don't have a break, but you want to bend a piece of aluminum uh, to make some sort of bracket, some sort of uh, trim piece, uh, really anything, as long as it's kind of small. Uh, obviously, uh, a vise is going to have some sort of limit to size. Get rid of that. So first thing, we want to slip this, and I'm doing this backwards, so it's going to be a little awkward for me. But the first thing we want to do is put this in our vise and get our lines lined up. Uh, you want to make sure you're pretty, pretty perfect on this just because once you bend this, you're not going to unbend it. And I'm actually, these are uh, the second pieces I'm making because the first time I, I measured my center out exactly at the 70 millimeters that an SSD is. And it turns out I didn't have enough room for the SSD in there. I mean, who would have guessed? So I added a couple millimeters to give me some clearance. Um, but yeah, when you put this in there, make sure you hit your lines, make sure you get it straight because you can't unbend it. Uh, if you screw this up, you're cutting another piece. So get the vise nice and tight. We're going to take our hammer and we're going to apply a little bit of pressure pulling in the direction we want to bend. Um, not, I mean, you don't want to bend it right now with your thumb. You just want to give it pressure going that direction. We're going to tap it on the back down by the bottom where the bend is. Um, and that'll uh, kind of just jar it into shape, I guess. Um, so real light taps with a little bit of pressure. And we're just going to work back and forth across the piece. Like I say, we're not, not hitting it hard. You don't want to force it. See, working it back and forth, what we're doing is bending it just a bit, every every spot where we hit, um, but we're not bending it so far that it skews our bend or you know stretches some aluminum in a weird way. Um, just that little bit, and then catch it up across the piece. And when you start getting towards where it's flat, you want to start mainly aiming at that bend. You want that bend to be as sharp as you can. So that is that one. Another reason not to hit it real hard is, um, I, mean, I don't know if you've hit you know, the softer aluminums with a hammer, but you will dent it, number one. Uh, and if you don't put a nice dent in it, you're gonna put a nice little uh, divot or dimple in it um, that you're gonna have to go back and either fill or file. So uh, you don't wanna go too crazy on it. Just enough to get it to, to kind of go your direction. And you see we got that side bit. I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing, line it up in the vise. Mm, that's not straight at all. 
get it nice and tight. And then I put pressure on the top. Just tap across the back. That's it. Now you're probably asking yourself, Dave, where the hell do I get 5052 aluminum? Uh, I buy mine online because the metal shops around here don't carry it in stock. Your Home Depots and Lowe's and Menards and all that won't carry it in stock. They're all going to carry 6061 and pretty lightweight stuff. So you're going to be ordering it more than likely. Um, now if you can only get 6061, let's say you can't, maybe you're in a different country and they don't, they don't ship it or maybe they don't have the exact piece you want and 5051 or you get a deal on some 6061 from a shop in your town uh, you can bend it like this but it requires a lot of heat you wind up having to use a propane torch to really soften that edge up uh, which is kind of hard because your vice is a heat sink and it just sucks all the heat but after a while you'll get enough heat in there and it'll bend really easy really easily um, but if at all possible pick the right alloy and then um, you should be able to bend it real easy with a hammer. Let me find the SSD real quick. We'll check our fit. Let's cut this the right way. And ma'am, it's a little bit sloppy, but maybe like a by a millimeter. So that's good. Um, that'll get taken up when the screws get screwed in. And at least I'm not forcing it in there. Because uh, really the idea is to make this easy to get out whenever I want to take it out and not have to work hard at it. So making it difficult to put in or take out would, would be kind of counterproductive, wouldn't it? Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, easy way to bend some small pieces of aluminum on a vise. Uh, hope that comes in handy on something. And that's it for this quick tip. I will catch you all on the flip side.